there everyone, I hope you're rocking today. You have great GIS skills. You know how to click here, do that. You know the tools, you know the lingo. Guess what? So does everyone else in GIS and you gotta face that fact. You are not special and that's why you're not getting ahead and why you are unemployed. However, I have three steps you can do to make yourself 10 times more hireable in GIS which I'm gonna talk about in this video. Before I get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything that you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist, scientist, and I love geographic information systems. The artistic creativity in map making, the science of spatial analysis, and the cross industry value is amazing. But there is a huge problem. GIS is easy. Depending on what you are doing, anyone can do it. Now, before I go any further, I'd like to remind you to sign up for my newsletter at geographicinformationsuccess.com, where I give you weekly updates and insights into GIS mindsets. I also have a Teespring store where you can get yourself some GIS and Geoscience t-shirts. That goes to support my channel. Thanks. Back to the video. Yes, I'm being a little hyperbolic, but if you're not careful, GIS is plain easy. Click here, do that. Knowing the lingo, using the CAN tools can all be pretty dull and easy. Here, let me illustrate. Hey, thanks, coworker, for coming to my band's show on such short notice. No problem, I'm sure you're gonna suck and sound like place popular band name here. Wait, what? Oh, sorry, uh, I currently can only say exactly what I'm thinking yet. I don't care if you're all right with that. Well, alrighty then. I'm bored. People say we're awesome and that we're gonna make it. My mom says I'm special too, and you look exactly like place popular band name here. Oh, no way, people say we sound nothing like place popular band name here. You are totally delusional. All right, time to play. I'm going to sit here and have none of my expectations shattered. Wow, that was fun. What did you think? Yep, you guys totally sucked and sounded like place popular band name here. Oh, no way. People say we sound nothing like place popular band name here. Well, your mom probably doesn't listen to place popular band name here, but you were okay at guitar. Thanks, I learned on YouTube. Tight, tight. Your band still sucks and sounds exactly like place popular band name here. Oh man, why can't I get ahead? If you aren't careful, you're just going to be like everyone else. What you gotta do is stand out, even just a little. And to do that, you have to specialize. Your specialization should be reasonably difficult and be something that not everyone can do. Digitization is not something to specialize in. A five-year-old can digitize. With specialization in mind, I'm gonna give you Three steps you need to do to make yourself 10 times more hireable in GIS. Number one, define a problem in GIS. Find a GIS problem and make it your own. Know every in and out of that problem and be able to talk about it with ease. For instance, uh, pipeline right-of-ways, fuel efficiency on road versus highways, location of grocery stores and housing. You pick the problem, you know it inside out. Now, if you're a student, ask an industry person, ask your network, or find something to dig your claws into to define. Once you find this problem, hopefully unique problem in GIS, get your claws into it and understand it thoroughly. And this will give you an advantage for number two and number three. Number two, define the solution of your GIS problem. You know the problem, now be thorough in defining the solution to that problem. There is a saying that says, a question well asked is half solved. And a problem fully defined and the solution fully defined is yours and owned by you. Defining the solution would be something like knowing all the regulations around pipeline right-of-ways or knowing how to ground truth forest classification using remote sensing. If you are able to define the solution of your problem, you own it. A classic example would be 
a scientific paper or a conference paper or even a capstone project at a college or a university. Even a personal research project would be a great way to own a problem and a solution. However, it's not enough to completely know a problem and define the solution. You've got to. Number three, promote yourself. If you don't tell people that you know the problem and you have the solution, you might as well not have the solution at all. You don't have to give away the secret sauce, as the saying goes, but letting people know what is going on is essential for your success in GIS. Self-promotion is super easy with social media these days. Essentially, you've got zero dollars and the world as an audience. Create videos to talk about your GIS problem and then create videos to talk about your GIS solution. If you don't want to go the video route, you can use graphics on LinkedIn or on Twitter. You need to advocate for yourself. You need to promote yourself and social media is the easiest way. Own the problem on social media, own the solution on social media and promote yourself on social media. You will be 10 times more hireable in GIS if you do these things. And those are my thoughts on how you can stay hireable in GIS. The three steps take a bit of planning and some courage to get onto social media. But you will be pleased with results if you keep them up. I'd like to remind you to sign up for my newsletter at geographicinformationsuccess.com where I give you valuable GIS and career information every week. I'm also writing a few ebooks that you can check out soon. Also, I have a Teespring store where you can purchase GIS and Geoscience shirts. The money goes to support my channel. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.